everyone, welcome back to N Academy. This is Deepak Krishna VM, ME Structural Engineering AMIA, a verified educator. So in today's lesson, we are going to see uh, another type of concrete which has been a great innovation due to the increased demand and the improved technology, the lightweight concrete. So this will be an introductory part or introductory lesson for the lightweight concrete. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of the N Academy and also follow us through the other platforms like Facebook app and the website. So let's start. Hello everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a good time. So in the previous lessons we have seen the important facts and figures about the high strength concrete. Okay, so today we are going to see another variant of um, common concrete or the ordinary concrete which was introduced in the market due to the improving demands of the people and also due to the other climatic conditions and other factors. Okay, so the, conc the concrete we are going to discuss today is the lightweight concrete. Okay. So this will be moreover and moreover like an introductory part for the lightweight concrete. Uh, the points which I could not include in this lesson will be extended in in, a, in the upcoming lessons. Okay, so let's start the lesson. The first and foremost, uh, let's see uh, what what is this and how it was uh, implemented. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, we all know that the ordinary concrete has a bit of limitations when when coming in the self weight department. That means that the ordinary concrete when it was uh, it has a lot of advantages like it can bear a lot of load, uh, it's very easy to uh, work with and also uh, it can be done in almost the shapes that we are uh, that that can be desirable for us. But sometimes while working with it can be a little bit problem for the designers because uh, the due to the weight of the aggregates and also all of the ingredients the dead the dead load or the self weight of the concrete will be much high for the ordinary concrete okay so this became a <coughs> lot of problems for the some of the areas like where the foundations are really weak that is the soil is very weak and also in some places where uh, you can't really put that amo amount of pressure to the earth so in such cases uh, a new concrete was introduced known as the lightweight concrete okay so this was another variant so actually the density of normal concrete is somewhere in between in this range that is 2200 to 2600 kilogram per meter cube whereas the density of low, uh, low lightweight concrete is in between 300 to 1850 kilogram per meter cube all right okay so what is lightweight concrete first and foremost so these are new types of concrete that has formed as from the name itself you can understand that these are lighter forms of concrete okay so the uh, how it is formed okay this is mainly formed by inducing air into the concrete matrix okay so how it is done uh, th these are the some of the various methods that are adopted to uh, manufacture the lightweight concrete all right the first and foremost as i said before one of the methods is to induce the air bubbles or they induce the air in the concrete matrix so one method is in, uh, inducing large amount of air bubbles or gas in the aggregates itself that means that making the aggregates more porous okay or replacing the with uh, that means the more porous aggregates are replaced okay and second way is inducing air in the matrix or between the aggregate particles that means that uh, we are in, in introducing a little bit of air in the concrete matrix itself or there, there is a little bit air is introduced between the aggregate particles that is by creating a, a small amount of voids in between the aggregate particles okay so that's another method S the third method is replacing the usual mineral aggregate by lightweight aggregates okay uh, lightweight aggregates uh, that has uh, been replaced will be having a specific gravity less than 2.6 okay so another way is as i said before there is a way for introducing the um the, in, the, the, there is another method that is the previously discussed that is introducing air in the matrix or between the concrete particles okay so these voids should be clearly distinguished from the extremely fine voids produced by air entrainment known as aerated or cellular or form concrete okay so those these air voids we are introducing should be correctly uh, distinguished otherwise the air voids will what can we say combine and which may create to the porosity okay which may uh, which may improve the porosity of the concrete and hence affects the strength so that's why when we are writing the concrete or introducing air concrete we one must follow a strict guidelines or should be have a strict supervision of an expert uh, okay so next one is the omitting the sand friction from the aggregates 
Okay, that means that by omitting the fine aggregates from the mix, so that large number of interstitial voids are present. So again, another method for in inducing the voids. Okay, so so these kind of voids. That means that normal. Uh, so in this type of concrete, the normal coarse aggregate, normal weight coarse aggregates are used. Okay, so hence uh, there is another name for such a concrete known as no fines concrete. All right, that means that we are omitting. Uh, a, l a huge amount or almost all the fine aggregates from the concrete mix concrete mix so that there is a large number of voids in the interstitial sites okay so in this once again we are using the normal weight coarse aggregate and such a concrete are known as uh, no fine concrete okay now let's next one is so here are some more methods for for the manufacture first and foremost air entrain between aggregate particles okay so this is done by no fines concrete made with den uh, dense aggregates secondly partially compacted concrete made with dense aggregate okay second one is air contained within and between the aggregate particles this is done by, the method is followed by the method followed is no fines made with uh, lightweight aggregates or partially compacted concrete made with lightweight aggregates third type is air contained within the aggregate particles for this the method followed is Com fully compacted concrete made with lightweight aggregates. The aggregates may be natural or artificial in nature. So I hope you understand this slide or this uh, explanation. Next one is we, we, let's have a little more points about the lightweight concrete. Okay, so lightweight concrete is due to cellular. So lightweight lightweightness of this concrete or why this concrete is light in nature. This is because due to the cellular or highly porous microstructure. Okay. So, as we all know, we are again introducing the uh, very lightweight aggregates into it. So, this will make the concrete a very uh, highly porous or in microstructure. Okay, very, very a, a really high porous microstructure. But organic materials like wood chips cannot be used in this. Okay, so only a selective kind of aggregates can be used for this. Otherwise, this will increase the porosity to a level that which will affect the strength of the concrete. So, there is a sweet spot for that. We can. There is only a selected, a few uh, coarse aggregate can be used in it. So what happens the wood chips is that, uh, for example, a uh, aggregate type wood chip is that uh, the wood chip is not enough. A uh, wood chip itself is not strong enough. Okay, even a small wood come, it may disintegrate. Okay, and it is also so light that it may absorb water and creates bloating inside the concrete matrix. So it can't be used. Okay, so we have been talking about aggregates for a long time. So there is a wide range of aggregates. Okay for th that can be chosen for the lightweight concrete okay so that spectrum range between 75 to 1000 kg per meter cube roughly so within this spectrum this is within this range there is a lot of uh, th this density range there is a lot of aggregates that we can choose for the lightweight concrete okay and uh, since there are there is a range there there are two extremities okay so aggregates which are in the lighter end Okay, or in the lighter side of the spectrum, their aggregates will be very porous. They'll be lighter in nature. Okay, so these thi so these aggregates are not suitable for making the structural elements because then they won't get, you know, provide enough support for the uh, bearing of the load. Okay, so these aggregates can be used for structural in non-structural insulating concrete. Okay, this can be used for insulators. Uh, this can also be used as a what can we say fire resistance concrete. Okay. That, and also, uh, this concrete is, uh, what, I mean, these aggregates are so light that it can be also used for soundproofing. Okay, now the other end, that means uh, aggregates who are in the other end of the spectrum, which are stronger. Okay, so these aggregates are stronger, more denser. So these are suitable for pro producing the structural concrete. That means that the concrete elements which bears the load, bears and transports the load. Okay, so I hope you understand both the ends of, uh, uses of both the ends of the spectrum where the aggregate lies. So by this we can understand how the aggregate can be used. Okay. Now next let's see some of the applications of the lightweight concrete. So first and foremost, it is used in earthquake proof structures. Okay. So this is done in the way it can be used for manufacture of the uh, shear walls. Okay. Shear walls are used in the earthquake retaining structures which will, be, which will fail but ultimately will help in the protection of the building. Okay, collapse of the building. Next one, deck, uh, decks for long, uh, long span bridges. Since it's lightweight and also uh, and other properties are added to it. 
uh, long spans of uh, de bridge decks can be made from this concrete. All right. Next one is the art architectural purposes. Lightweight, it can be done with whatever thing, whatever shape we can do that. Next one is the partition walls and panel walls, which doesn't bear any load, which just used as the uh, purpose for the partition only. Okay, so there is no need of any wall. It just acts as a pillar walls. Next is the low cost housing and precast industry. Okay, so in the low cost housing, we doesn't need uh, such a huge amount of uh, concrete, of such a high grade concrete. Okay, so in such cases, this concrete is a more cheaper and also it provides the same stability provided by the ordinary concrete. All right, so same goes for the precast in industry also. So precast industry with the lightweight concrete, they can it gives them a lot wide range of space for the designers to design the uh, elements. Okay. Next one is the fireproofing and in weak soil areas. So fireproofing, it has a very low thermal conductivity. So it can be used in the fireproofing department. And also, as I said before, in some places, the weak soil, the foundation will be, uh, what can we say, it won't be not so strong. So in, in such places, the concrete with a very high dead load or very high self-weight can't be used. It may uh, result in subsidence. Okay. So in such cases, the lightweight concrete plays a vital role there. So that's all for today. I hope you understand today's lesson. Thank you once again for being a good listener. Please comment your suggestions. Please rate my presentation. Please recommend and share the slides. This is my link to the profile to the An Academy platform. You can see the works that I've done over there. So thank you once again. Until next time, ciao.